garage before i tell you what i'm doing hit like hit share subscribe subscribe and uh let's do it right so today today so today what i'm doing well like i told you in, in the past videos i bought some parts for the crx i haven't turned the car over because i'm having issues with my tpms throttle position sensor that i got one and uh i got the shock because i keep hitting my head over the shock i got them what I'm doing on all this, all this time, because of the hurricane, 90% of the time I spent cleaning, like you see right there, you see right there, you know, and you can see my garage is not car related right now. It's more yard related than anything else. Even though I got this motor I have to put in right here on the hatch. Today I'm gonna work on the CRX. Um, I had the battery charged because I do have three problems with the car, major problems too, but uh, three with the shocks. So I'm replacing the shocks today. Um, the other thing that I'm doing is a TPMS battery, and I gotta find out why I have a short battery. I think I have an idea where that is, but today I'm gonna only start with these two things and move on to something else, and then I make another video why I'm looking for that short because I had to sit down there, I have to find the short. I have to figure out the car with the tuning and all that. And then, when that's done, somehow, some way, I have to bring the hatch all the way out here. And uh, the S2000 got to be moved over there, or something happened like that. Or that hatch got to be moved over there. And the CRS got to be go outside for a few days so I can put that motor in the hatch and then roll it back out. So that's how we're doing. On top of that, I am also watch for the video coming up is working on the Integra if you haven't seen it go take a look at it go click on my underneath my file and look at it it sucks because every time it rains you see that water stain every time it rains because my roof is messed up I think it's growing and growing and uh it was cracking the house I'm sorry guys, I'm very stressed out about my home right now because of the hurricane. The sometimes I start working on the cars and I get like, you know, I don't want to do this. But I have to do what I have to do, you know what I mean? I can't keep on sanity. But with that said, I wanna find a place to install to put you guys on and we're gonna do the shot. Now, you see how this is right here with a little bolt on? Hold on, I'm gonna have to get something. Basically, what the fuck? Oh, that goes right here. Okay, okay, okay. So this plastic one goes in the front, one goes in the back. This is so you can, it's almost like a washer kind of deal. Now I gotta go look. So the thread on this is the same. I don't know why I shouldn't do that.
that's the way you're supposed to do. So <laughs> you get along with it. change stuff like this. But from that to a 12. guys now I gotta take this down real quick I'm gonna tell you right now this right here is gonna rotate on you best thing to do grab your finger loosen it up a little bit if you had like a dude a head screwdriver just try to guide it, guide it in place. Just hold it right there in the middle. Little by little, you know what I mean? Trying to like keep it in center. I know it's hard. Cause it's plastic, you see how it moves? better to put a metal washer in there but I'm teaching you guys how to do this there we go so now my my shocks brand new now I gotta do the other one so if you want to know how I'll keep my door open when the shocks are bad about this little thing right here this little right thing right here you can put it right here but since I don't know how this shock is going to be, I'm going to put it a little bit higher. And I'm going to take this apart. Yeah, it went down a little bit, but the shock is brand new, so it's not gonna go all the way down. This shock is blown. It's not holding the weight of the gate. Again, you go back here. Put it away now. You're gonna take that one apart. And I believe that was a 13. Yep. That's it folks, I'm done.